Hello, my dear Cancers. This is going to be a reading to find out what your person is thinking of you, how they're feeling, that sort of thing. Um, so do, you know, put somebody in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those of you that are brand new to the channel, I do pick up on past, present, and future energies. Um, so please tell the universe that you would like for me to pick up on your energy by hitting that lovely subscribe button. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm told to stop there. To be fair, hmm, did something happen between you and this person, maybe? Card number 38, in case that's of importance to someone. <clears throat> Excuse me, just a moment, Cancer, my voice. All right. Wow. Aww. All right. Well, your person is feeling a sense of isolation and they're missing you. So whomever this is, Cancer, they're missing you. You're feeling a sense of being alone. Maybe they're going through a difficult period of time right now. And this to be fair card is them hoping for some good news, hoping for something good to come along. Oh, they may be going through a karmic lesson. We have life lessons and micromanaging the universe. They're trying to make something happen in their life. That's for sure. So when it comes to you, they are missing you. And maybe they learned a really tough lesson in their connection with you. Maybe they messed up, you know? Maybe they messed up with you pretty bad and then we're seeing that kind of energy taking taking place here as well. We'll find out some more as the cards come out. Maybe they feel some action you took towards them was unfair, unfounded. And now they're hoping that you'll, you'll come to a point of forgiveness. Okay. What is their main thought about cancer, please? What is this person's main thoughts about cancer? They don't know. <laughs> they're trying to get to the bottom of things. They don't know what happened. Something happened between the two of you. Maybe you, maybe you broke up. Oh, look at that. King of Swords. Knight of Swords. My apologies. Knight of Swords. They want to communicate, but they don't know how. You're standing very, very strong, Cancer, in this Queen of Swords energy. And they don't know how to communicate with you. They're trying to figure it all out. How? What are they thinking about Cancer themselves? What are they thinking about Cancer? Knight of Cups. The Tower. Yeah, I feel like this is about a breakup. All right. So, Cancer, let me just note, this is for somebody who's recent, who you recently broke up with or have put some massive distance between you and them, okay? Um, we have a particular person here who feels like there has not been a fair decision by you, and it, I feel like you've left them. So let's make that even more clear, because I don't want everybody else to waste their time watching if, if it's not for them. It looks like Cancer, you have left this person. You have put distance between the two of you. You've, maybe you've blocked them. Maybe you've told them we're done. Maybe you've said, you know, I'm not putting up with a particular behavior or something of that nature. Now your person is feeling very isolated. They're feeling a sense of solitude and being alone. They also have a longing for you, you know, only let, only know you love them when you let them go kind of thing. They feel a sense of longing for you. They're starting to recognize this was some sort of a life lesson, some sort of karmic lesson. And now they're trying to figure out how do I win you back, right? How do I win back cancer? So that's what they're trying to figure out. How do they win you back? I don't know why I said, how do I win you back? I'm not dealing with any cancers. <laughs> Just to be clear <laughs> to everybody watching. Um, I'm not dealing with anybody. <laughs> I'm working. All right, so, hmm. And so now we have somebody who has has a recognition that they have feelings for you, but they feel like they've messed up really bad. Like they've messed up bad, bad, bad. 
because it looks like you put your foot down and said no more and now they don't know what to do. How do I communicate with cancer? <laughs> so on a heart on a heart level, you make them very happy whether they've expressed this to you or not. I'm getting the feeling they probably didn't. <laughs> Probably didn't, because it looks like this person is massively in the doghouse with you, Cancer. <laughs> massively in the doghouse. All right, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Now I have that song from Greece going through my head. All right, so they're wanting to talk things out with you or they're hoping that maybe somebody will talk sense into you. I know that sounds horrible. That's actually what I'm getting. I feel like this person feels like somebody will talk sense into you, that you made a judgment call that wasn't right because there's love here and you know they're, they're not taking responsibility for the situation. <laughs> Now, they could be trying to go to their friends and family and say, I don't understand, why is cancer, why has cancer done this? There's a focus on the chariot. Why did cancer end things with me? And here's the magician card, which we saw here. Um, I would have gone to the potential for manipulation here, like maybe they think you're being manipulative, but I actually see, I, I see the magician card in here as well. So I feel like they're trying to figure out how to get you back. And look, bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card, which is about second chances. How can I get cancer back? How can I get cancer back? Page of Pentacles. They don't feel you'll you'll speak to them. You've probably blocked them. Block next. That's what you did. <laughs> and if it was right to do so, I stand behind your decision, cancer. All right, it's full in the reverse. They don't think there's any chance of a new beginning here at all. All right, so what's coming next? What's coming next? Ace of Cups. They're gonna try. It's like I said, they're missing you. And they don't know what else to do. <laughs> All right, so I think your person is going to reach out and try to express how they're feeling because they really and truly don't know what what to do. Cancer, I am really proud of you. Um, standing so strong on this is uh, very hard for water signs to do. So I am very proud of you for kind of putting your foot down in a situation that looks like it, it must have been needed to because you would not have done that otherwise. And so... We have an energy here where this person, they don't think you're going to take them back, but they're going to try anyway with the Ace of Cups. With the Six of Cups, they may ask you out on a date or they may try to put some sort of effort in somehow, maybe talk to your friends, say, hey, can you help me out? Cancer's blocked me. What can I do? How can I fix this? But right now, they're currently in a state of assessing the situation, right? This person is going to come back groveling, groveling, but question remains is that the right thing for you only you know that only you know that all right in the extended we are going to dig deep into this see what we can find out and uh, see what you are going to do about this person the signs that i see in your reading we see libra and virgo we see gemini and taurus um, taurus virgo capricorn Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, that's you, Cancer, could be dealing with a fellow Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, and Pisces. Hopefully that is of help to you, and stay tuned for the extended preview. Love and night to you. Hello, Cancer. Wow, wow, wow. I gotta tell you, whomever this person was that you broke up with, <laughs> whoever it was that you broke up with is an interesting character. So we took a lot of cards on that person 
And then I also took some cards to see if we have somebody new coming in. And so hopefully that will be of help to you. If that's of interest, there's a link down below in, in the description box for the extended. As always, love and light to you, Cancer. See you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.